so great to be part of such an amazing production with the National Guard. I'm like everybody else that's here. We're all really excited to be here in California, and uh, it's a great opportunity. It's really exciting to know that the National Guard has the support of such big names as Kid Rock and Dale Jr. There's just so much that the Guard offers, and just so many doors uh, open up for you. It's just, you know, it's just up to you to walk through them. We're just so proud to be here and, and to, to celebrate the National Guard and, and really to be part of the, the energy and the recruiting drive. Well, today's very exciting. Today's the first day of the shoot for the new uh, Dale Jr. Kid Rock video. Right now, up behind me, you can see the tar mat. We're working on a couple little intimate scenes. These are actually the opening scenes of the video where we start to uh, put a face with our National Guard hero. And then we intertwine them all together at the end. Uh, Kid Rock, Dale Jr., and the National Guard working together. I think what Kid Rock and Dale Earnhardt do for recruiting is phenomenal. I mean, they're, they're very high-profile characters. They all have different requests. They all have different sort of ways of working, and it's just getting to know them, which makes it go in more streamlined and better. I think the video is going to be great. I mean, got a great lineup. Me and Dale Jr. have been you know, friends for a lot of years now. Well, the song is an old track. It started with a song called Jackson, Mississippi which I always had the groove for for a long time. It's, it's, it's an early track from way back in my first, uh, first major label record, Devil Without a Cause. And when I really started to feel the track, and, and I read some things that explained the army and whatnot, some poems, and just the way that I had to do it at the end was just right in your face. To scream what I, what I believe in my heart. And there was even a couple of things that we even toned down a bit because they said, whoa. <laughs> and they're like, you can't say it that hard. I was like, you hired Kid Rock. <laughs> That's what you get. You get the truth and nothing else. NASCAR has a lot of pride in its relationships with the military. We take it very seriously and it's something that we really enjoy and we feel like it's a big part of our sport. It's fun to be able to work with with Kid Rock, we call him Bob. He's a pretty normal guy and a lot of fun to be around. Obviously, uh, he has a good time, he's got a good attitude. It's fun to be coincidentally partnered on a program like the National Guard. I know he's got a lot of pride in, in uh, the military and what the military does for our country. And He's shown that in the past and he fits well in the program. I think this is a great opportunity to get our message out and speak about the National Guard and also have uh, Dale Jr. running our car. As a parent, being able to be out here on, at this opportunity and see the National Guard shooting their commercial, the kids see a lot of different things, not just what's on TV. And so as a parent, I, I love that opportunity, being able to bring them out and have them see firsthand what's going on. My name is Specialist McDonald from Washington State, and I'm out here. Great opportunity to be a part of the next Guard production. I'm rolling as a gunner here with the lead Humvee in our next scene. This week we're shooting the Afghani scene, also the forest fire scene, and also a flood scene. My name is CW2, Chief Warrant Officer 2, Dane Branish. I'm with the 1st Battalion, 183rd Aviation, based out of Boise, Idaho. I was the co-pilot gunner, the front seater in the H-64 Apache. We were lead aircraft. What's most exciting for me is whenever we work with helicopters. And when you have to time helicopters flying over troops while vehicles are moving, while mortars are going off, and getting that split second timing for five seconds of a sweet spot of film, that's very rewarding to do. Each individual scene is trying to tell a story, so it's, it's really important that when the audience is watching that, that you're able to take them to that place. The director is able to take them there with performance that the designer's been able to take them there with the sets that he's built, and that my photography's able to take them there. It's a big collaboration, and when it all comes together, hopefully the audience has an experience that they're in those places and they're experiencing those things. It's a lot of fun when you got moving vehicles and flying helicopters and people running around, mortars going off, fireballs. We've been having a really good time creating the flood at night, um, going to North Carolina, filming with Dale Earnhardt and the racetrack. <laughs> It's been great. It really, it's been a lot of fun. From the air, it really looked no different than a lot of the villages that we would go over or towns. I was really amazed and I think I can speak for the rest of the flight that uh, that is the consensus is that, that it was very well done. This video will definitely portray what the National Guard is all about 
that they're not just a soldier and they're not just a civilian. They, they help throughout the community in a wide variety of different aspects. The biggest surprise to me was to see everything that they put to go into the set and everything you can see from just standing back and watching. And then to watch the TV screen of what they're actually videotaping is a completely different shot. It's really cool to see what actually comes out on the screen. Particularly today doing the parade scene, meeting the families, it was really emotional to see the families watching the troops. Even though we're recreating a scene, I know it's a real scene and it wasn't Hollywood. It's, it's the real troops, real families, and that's special. This particular has been really cutting edge approach that really brands the Army National Guard in a way that perhaps informs people about the Guard in a way they didn't, you know, they didn't necessarily think about before. You know, kind of neighbors coming at the ready to help you. And at the same time, they have this national mission to go out in harm's way and, uh, you know, uh, defend our freedoms around the world. <laughs> I've always found all servicemen to be uh, excited to go to be here. To uh, they've always been extremely professional. I mean, they all really know their jobs well, and what they're able to deliver for us is it's just like they're part of a regular Hollywood crew to me. It's like they're they're stunt men and effects guys, and yet they do this for a living. It's really what they do. They're not they're not making believe like we do in Hollywood. For me personally, it's just an honor. Every time I, get, I work with all the branches of the military over the years, and this is really an honor to work with the National Guard. There's a special bond between the soldiers, uh, between one another, that allows us to pick up like we're best friends from, from anywhere. We can know nothing about each other, and we're allowed to function as a group and, and uh, as a cohesive unit. We can be from different backgrounds, different races, different parts of the country, but as soon as we came here for this production with the National Guard, it's like an instant bond is formed. It's almost like we're a family. You've got soldiers from all different states, but it, it, it doesn't matter. You know, we all wear the same uniform. Um, there, there isn't Tennessee National Guard or Florida National Guard. We're all in, in, in the National Guard, uh, and our uniforms all say the you know, U.S. Army, so the, the, that bond between uh, these soldiers that, that we have, just, just as a big family, is just incredible. I don't think there's any other job that you can be in that you'll have that kind of, uh, just that kindred spirit. For all the troops that are out there, we appreciate everything that you're doing for us. We hope you're proud of the films that we make for you, and uh, we wish you well and be safe. To all the guardsmen, I, I just think they're all out there doing a fantastic job and, and uh, stay out of harm's way. It really makes me proud to really be an American, knowing that you guys are out there doing what you're doing. I know it sounds corny, but that's the real deal. I have a wife and a daughter, and it's good to know that I'm protected overseas and at home. To all the troops out there, we're always thinking about you. Can't wait for you guys to get home. Can't wait to join you again. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to my friends, my family. Uh, so from all of us, we really appreciate it, and uh, we support you. A message for the troops, stay wild, world, yeah, for sure. First of all, I'd say thank you. Second of all, I'd say keep on kid rocking in the free world. For myself as an Apache pilot, from the pilots, from the flight crews, and the Army National Guard, let me say Kid Rock, Dale Jr., thank you for your support. Thank you for what you're doing for us. It's a privilege to be on your team. You rock.